super fast trick to find significant figures. Well, I will teach you only two rules through which you can easily find significant figures. Firstly, we will find significant figures of non-decimal numbers. The first rule is to go from first non-zero digit to the last non-zero digit. For example, consider these numbers and find significant figures. In case of first number, we can see that the first non-zero digit is 1. The last non-zero digit is 5. So I go from 1 to 5. Now we can see that there is 1, 2 and 5. There are three digits from first non-zero digit to the last non-zero digit. So there are three significant figures. In case of second number, I go from first non-zero digit to the last non-zero digit. The first non-zero digit is 3 and the last non-zero digit is 1. So I go from 3 to 1. We can see that there are three digits from first non-zero digit to the last non-zero digit. So there are three significant figures in this number. In case of third number, I go from first non-zero digit to the last non-zero digit. The first non-zero digit is 5 and the last non-zero digit is 1. I go from 5 to 1. Now 1, 2, 3, 4. There are 4 digits or there are 4 significant figures present in this number. In case of this number, I go from first non-zero digit to the last non-zero digit. The first non-zero digit is 7 and the last non-zero digit is 5. So I go from 7 to 5. Now 1, 2, 3, 4. There are 4 digits or 4 significant figures present in this number. In case of this number, I go from first non-zero digit to the last non-zero digit. The first non-zero digit is 6 and the last non-zero digit is 1. I go from 6 to 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There are 5 digits or 5 significant figures present in this number. Lastly, I go from first non-zero digit to the last non-zero digit. The first non-zero digit is 1 and the last non-zero digit is also 1. So I go from this one to this one. I count the digit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There are 5 digits or 5 significant figures present in this number. Thus remember that in case of non-decimal numbers, we go from first non-zero digit to the last non-zero digit. Using this trick, we can easily find significant figures in any number. Hence, note it down this important rule. Now, I will take a quick test. Consider these numbers. Pause the video and find total significant figures. Well, in case of this number, the first non-zero digit is 5 and the last non-zero digit is 3. I go from 5 to 3. 1, 2, 3. So there are 3 significant figures present in this number. In case of this number, the first non-zero digit is 8 and the last non-zero digit is 2. I go from 8 to 2. 1, 2, 3, 4. Hence, there are four significant figures present in this number. In case of this number, the first non-zero digit is 6 and the last non-zero digit is 2. I go from 6 to 2, 1, 2. Hence, there are two significant figures present in this number. In case of this number, the first non-zero digit is 4 and the last non-zero digit is 1. I go from 4 to 1. Now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
Hence, there are five significant figures present in this number. In case of this number, the first non-zero digit is 1 and the last non-zero digit is 2. I go from 1 to 2. Now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Hence, there are six significant figures present in this number. Thus, using this trick, we can easily find significant figures in any number. Now, we will learn significant figures of decimal numbers. The second rule is, I go from non-zero digit to the last. Let me repeat it. I go from first non-zero digit to the last. For example, consider these numbers. In case of first number, the first non-zero digit is 5. So, I go from 5 to the last. Now, 1, 2, 3. There are 3 digits or 3 significant figures present in this number. In case of second number, the first non-zero digit is 1. So, I go from 1 to the last. Now, 1, 2, 3, 4. There are 4 digits or 4 significant figures present in this number. In case of this number, the first non-zero digit is 3. I go from 3 to the last. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There are 5 digits or 5 significant figures present in this number. In case of this number, the first non-zero digit is 4. I go from 4 to the last. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There are 6 digits or 6 significant figures present in this number. In case of this number, the first non-zero digit is 1. I go from 1 to the last. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Hence, there are 5 significant figures present in this number. In case of this number, we can see that decimal point is present at the end. The first non-zero digit is 2. I go from 2 to the last. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Hence, there are 5 significant figures present in this number. Therefore, using rule number 2, we can easily find significant figure and decimal numbers. Hence, note it down this rule number 2. Now, I will take a quick test. Let's consider these decimal numbers. Pause the video and find significant figures. Well, in case of first number, the non-zero digit is 2. I go from 2 to the last. 1, 2, 3. There are 3 significant figures present in this number. In case of this number, the first non-zero digit is 1. I go from 1 to the last. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There are 5 significant figures present in this number. In case of this number, the first non-zero digit is 1. I go from 1 to the last. 1, 2, 3. Hence, there are 3 significant figures present in this number. In case of this number, the first non-zero digit is 5. I go from 5 to the last. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Hence, there are 5 significant figures present in it. In the last number, the first non-zero digit is 8. I go from 8 to the last. 1, 2, 3, 4. Hence, there are 4 significant figures present in this number. Thus, using second rule, we can easily find significant figures in any decimal number. Lastly, let me quickly teach you multiplication and division of significant figures. Let's consider this multiplication. After multiplication, we get this number in calculator. Now, here is one important question. How can we round this answer to the appropriate number of significant figures? Well, we look at the least number of significant figures. For example, 
and 4.02, the first non-zero digit is 4. So I go from 4 to the last. We can see that there are three significant figures present in 8. In case of 3.005, I go from first non-zero digit to the last. We can see that there are five significant figures present in 8. According to the rule, we look at the least number of significant figures. So we have to round this answer to three significant figures. Now three significant figures are 1, 2 and 0. Here we can see that 8 is greater than 5. So I add 1 to this 0. I get 12.1. So there are three significant figures present in this answer. Secondly, consider the division of these two numbers. After division, I get 1.342 in the calculator. Now here is important question. How can we round this answer to the appropriate number of significant figures? Well, as usual, we look at the least number of significant figures. In 3.006, there are 4 significant figures. While in 2.24, there are 3 significant figures. So I round this answer to 3 significant figures. This 2 is less than 5, so I do not add any number to 4. I write 1.34. Thus the appropriate answer is 1.34. Therefore, using these two rules, we can find significant figure in decimal numbers and in non-decimal numbers.